Hi friends, this is just gonna be a makeup tutorial. I posted on my story a snippet of me yesterday with an eyeliner look that I did and got an overwhelming amount of people requesting that I do a tutorial as well as on TikTok because I posted a few TikToks. They were funny, they were controversial and then TikTok took it down. So I decided to do a tutorial. I'm not very good at putting contacts in, but I'm not horrible. Oh my gosh, do I want to put in one green contact and one hazel contact? Do I want to switch it up? Do I want to go for like a, I think it's the coolest thing. What is that condition called? It starts with an H. And I'm like, Hector, Hector mean, he he anyways. Also got a lot of questions about my hair, which I finished my makeup. I can show you the curling wand that I use and like the basic technique that I use. So stick around if you want to see how I did my hair. Who did I see? There was another girl that I saw on TikTok who did her hair like this and it really resonated with me <laughs> because she had the same like hair color thing going on with the blonde bits in the front and then she curled her hair like this and I was like, that is a vibe and a hat. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight into foundation. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup. I put my hair right before I started doing the makeup. It's a chapa. Now that I look bald, let's get this started. How's everyone coping? <laughs> How are y'all doing? I have noticed that I have been going so much harder with my looks, just grasping at any possible sense of normalcy. I usually don't put the effort that I've been putting into my makeup. The lack of human contact is really starting to get to me because I've been away from home, unable to see anyone that I love or any of my friends before. It's obviously not the same as being quarantined, like I was just overseas, so I didn't get to see my friends for like three months. I've done it before, right? The thing about that is there's an end in sight. You know when you're gonna be back and you know when you can see your friends again. You have something to look forward to. Whereas this whole situation, we just have no idea when it's gonna be over, which makes it so much more, how do you say? <laughs> A stressful. I'm strapping in ready to do this for a few months. The lucky thing is I've already had my birthday so everyone else can go home. <laughs> Just kidding. We ain't trying to talk coronavirus this whole time because I'm sure we've all heard enough of it so there's my little rant. Let's move on. Got real quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> Turns out there's nothing else to talk about. There really isn't though. I have started painting again which is something that I used to do a lot more. Something that I've always struggled with in art and making art and painting is originality. Do you know what I mean? Like, do does it, do any of do, do does anyone else out there relate to the fact that sometimes you can't paint something unless you have a reference or you're copying something else and then it's so much harder to just come up with something off the top of your head obviously i think it's something that comes with practice and i'm not a serious artist i just like to paint and um draw for fun but like i suck at like being creative in the artistic medium of drawing and painting honestly i get it it's like a process like you just have to keep at it but i'm like come on <laughs> but my mom's doing a fashion design course because she's an icon She's always been just the most stylish person ever. I would be so... I would be even more basic if I didn't have literally the most stylish mom. Insert this video I found the other day of her walking past me, looking like the um, Parisian art ho goddess that she is. <laughs> My mom is doing a fashion course and she has been killing the game. Plus I can steal her art supplies because she has so much, so much. Anyways, can't wait for when my mom can make my outfits so that I can just be the most unique. Just kidding. Am I? I'm not. <laughs> all right, now this is what you all came for. Let me just gel my brows real quick and we'll get into the meat of this video. Eyeliner is just one of those things where you kind of just have to do it so much to the point that you're good at it. Which is like basically what I was saying earlier about like painting and art. Like eyeliner in and of itself is an art form. <laughs> Honestly though, respect to those makeup artists out there who are actually amazing and changing the game. Couldn't be me. I'm just a follower. But here, please listen to my mediocre instructions and advice. So what I do. First of all, I've only done that eyeliner look twice. So I'm also just winging it. <laughs> Get it? So I take the liner and I just draw a normal wing first. Just a line out like that. Okay? Okay. 
And then, by the way, I'm using the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner. I've used this eyeliner for like, I'm gonna say over five years. I love it. Anyways, and then kind of where your eyelid creases, I just draw a line that kind of basically goes straight down and connects to the end of that. So that's what we kind of end up with, okay? First of all, it looks trash. And I knew that as soon as I had to do it on camera, I'd do it horribly. We're gonna push on. I just like to make this bottom liner just look nice and sharp first. Like that. My goal when I'm doing that eyeliner is just when I go like this to make it straight so that it's just... Now here, what I do is I make a little triangle like that. And then I just fill it in. Do you kind of understand what happened? <laughs> so you're kind of just trying to create this like... I don't even know what you'd call that. So like that's the triangle there. And then this is like a tiny, really thin triangle there, if that makes sense. Except I made this one wonky and it looks disgusting. So now that I've explained it on this side, I'm gonna try and just do it on this side and hopefully it looks better. Getting it even, oof. Um, this one is a lot longer than that one. So let's try and fix that. I think the main thing is this one's like a bit droopier. Anyways, you get the basic idea of what I'm going for here. <laughs> the next step is the inner corner cat eye thing. I've been doing that for a while because we're on our Cleopatra grind, but what I've noticed is that it's so much easier to do using like an angled brush with eyeshadow than with an eyeliner. So what I do is I literally just follow my inner corner And I kind of just bring it down like that. And then also just creating a kind of really tiny triangle. You kind of bring this back up and into your lower line. Kind of like that. And it just really, really opens up your eyes. <laughs> For the look I did yesterday, this was what I did with my eyeliner. It's not even, but please forgive me. And then it's just lashes. I need a new lash curler because I kind of sat on this and I don't know if you can tell, it's like bent. But is a lash curler an essential? I'm gonna start thinking that it is. Hate that bitch up. Now I have itty bitty tiny lashes and I also chronically pull out my eyelashes. <laughs> Which is why I like to get eyelash extensions because I physically, I just can't justify pulling out my eyelash extensions because I'm like, I paid $100 for these. I'm not gonna pull them out. I've been trying to grow out my eyelashes and not pull them out. So far, we've been mildly successful. I'm gonna put on some falsies. These are the Kiss True Volume Natural Plump. Also, I don't fill in my eyebrows. I kind of have PTSD from when I did fill in my eyebrows a lot. They were so thick and black. I was like, I hate that. I hate that I did that. So I'm trying to go for the natural brow look. These lashes are really cute. A bit of length and a bit of fluff. Can we talk about the videos getting taken down on TikTok? I get the most random videos taken down on TikTok that in no way, shape, or form violate TikTok guidelines. And then I see borderline smut on my For You page. And I'm like, how is this allowed? And it's always dudes thirst trapping, like 13 year old girls who are like, oh my God, so hot. And the rest of us are just like, it's just like painfully regressive and even the hint of a potential nipple through a t-shirt is just like too much even though a guy will basically be on the verge of showing his package and those videos are still allowed up i'm just a little bit over it and what i've never understood about the whole women's nipple being offensive thing is like they're the same as a guy's like a guy's allowed to show a nipple and it's like yeah but it's different like girls have boobs and it's like okay but it's not the boob that you're worried about is it it's the nipple you can show as much cleavage and boob and the sexy part of your chest as you like not that I have much of that but that's besides the point I'm trying to make but as soon as you show like the actual part that nurtures life and is essential to basically human survival it's like whoa you better put those things away that is so offensive how dare you and that just really perplexes me but Circling back to what I was talking about, TikTok needs to stop. Stop taking down my videos for no reason. And if you are going to be super strict on taking down videos, then take down the disgusting videos that guys post 
literally just thirst trapping girls who are underage because let's be honest any girl who is actually of legal age absolutely cringes at those videos anyways i'm using the nyx lip liner it's down to a stub in smll33 london get a load of that <laughs> i actually really love this lip liner because it's literally one of the few nude lip liners that matches my skin tone like normal nude lip liners that work on majority white girls it looks trash on me Anyways, here's the final look. This is basically the same makeup as I had on yesterday. I hope that this was helpful. I don't know how well I did in explaining how I did my eyeliner. Hopefully that was somewhat informative and not just a total waste of time. Um, I'll be showing you how I did my hair right after I go for dinner because it's dinner time. It's actually the next day. I don't know if you can tell by the fact that my makeup is different. So this is the curling wand that I use. It's pretty skinty because it has like interchangeable heads. And this is just the skinniest one. So there's really nothing special to it. I kind of just curl my hair. The buoyancy. So yeah, that's just basically how I do it. It's wrap it around the barrel like that. Um, with my fringe, I always curl it inwards because if you curl it outwards, your fringe kind of just like... You just kind of have to style it and judge it, give it some structure. Curls that are this tight last quite a hot minute. Like I can have this hair for three days, no problem with like touch-ups like this if I feel the need to. Because you can see like this side's real curly again. And now we move to this side. Also, I alternate when I'm curling my whole head between curling inwards and outwards. You don't want it to all go in one direction. R.I.P. one direction. So I don't like the way that these curls look on me when it's just sitting like this. I usually do sort of like a half up, half down and tie this part up. I think that's a cute hairstyle. The other day, I just had my hair in two pigtails like this. Or you can scrunch it up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I only have one hair tie. Where's my other hair tie? I think curly hair is super suitable for more messier hairstyles. You don't really have the same freedom with straight hair. I need a hair tie, man. I basically just pull the hair into a bun. You can see like the bun there, but you kind of leave the ends of your hair and you have it facing like outwards. So that is just that's how I did the hair, and I hope that you learned something from this because, I, to be honest with you, I don't know how helpful this was. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Ciao! Also, today my makeup is inspired by Jewels from Euphoria.